G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Muster. In this video, I'm going to show you how to polish and clean a CD for resale. Welcome back to Music Video Master. This is the channel where we believe that music is better on DVD. Now today, I've set myself a bit of a challenge. I've got this really old CD and it's pretty badly scratched. Now normally in this condition, you wouldn't be able to sell this CD. But in this video, I'm going to try and polish out all the scratches and turn this into something that I could potentially sell online. All right, so let's do this. The disc that I've got today is Frenzel Rom Meet the Family. The disc is not in very good condition. So we're going to try and clean this up, give it a polish and see if we can get it to a very good condition. All right. I've got an old mouse pad here and um, I'm using this because it's a scratch free surface. And it's also got a bit of grip on the underside. Put the disc in the middle there. Bit of a uh, masking tape or painters tape. Now don't use sticky tape because it leaves too much sticky residue. Even the masking tape is going to leave some residue, but uh, I'll show you how to deal with that when we get to it. Just cover the center hole with a little square of painter's tape or masking tape. And um, we're going to use some of this stuff here. And this is called um, Meguiar's Scratch X 2.0. It's a kind of polish that you would use to make your car look nice and shiny. I've just got some toilet paper here. And this is not absolutely necessary, but I just, you know, don't like to get this stuff on my fingers if I don't have to. All right, so I've been <laughs> very generous with the, the polish there. You probably don't need this much, at least for the first round. I've got a, a battery drill here. This is a, a cheap brand and it's got a Ryobi uh, 90 mil backing pad, which we use for polishing. Put your finger in the center of the, of the disc to hold it down. And uh, I like to just spin it around and uh, hold it in place. We just go around the disc like this. Now you can see as I'm doing it, it's gripping the disc and kind of moving it a bit. That's why it's really important to hold it down in the center there. You can see a lot of the polish is kind of disappearing now, which means we're nearly done for the first round. Let's just check this. A little bit hard to see the scratches from this angle. But uh, yeah, it's, it's looking better. But we've still got some scratches visible there. I'm going to do another round. I'll just try and put a little bit less polish this time. You may already know that I have a very similar video called how to make scratched discs look new again. But uh, in this video today, I'm going to add a couple of bonus tips for you. All right, let's try this again. That's looking better. Okay, so looking at this disc again, I can still see quite a lot of uh, fine scratches in there. So I think it's going to need another two rounds. I'm going to call it. There are some surface scratches still visible, but I doubt that 
you'll ever get those scratches completely out. So I'm just going to call it now. Now here's one thing that I didn't mention in my other video, and I've learned this the hard way. When it's time to remove the disc now, please be very careful and just peel it off like this. So I used to, in the past, I used to just kind of pick the disc off like that, but because there's some resistance from the tape, I've actually cracked the disc in the center there near the, the center ring. And I've done that on some pretty expensive discs. So stupid. <laughs> so please, very carefully, peel back the tape. Don't just yank it off. Okay. And now, I'm going to wash this disc and see uh, what it looks like after it's all the polish has been cleaned off of it. All right, here I am at the sink now. I'm ready to wash this disc off. It's got quite a lot of polish uh, residue still on the disc. What I've got here is some dishwashing detergent diluted and uh, just you know, squirt that over the disc a little bit. And I'm just gonna put it on a little towel here to protect it. And, um, I mean, don't rub it with the towel, but maybe just pat it dry. Okay, now that we've got the clean disc, here's an extra step that I didn't include in my other video, and that is to give the disc a little spritz of isopropyl alcohol and wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I was polishing it and I had the masking tape on the disc, sometimes there's some residue left over just near the center ring, uh, the center hole of the disc even though I've already washed it with detergent, you still sometimes see some residue there and the isopropyl alcohol gets that off nicely. Uh, but one pro tip is take care not to get the isopropyl alcohol on the label side of the disc because sometimes that can actually strip the ink and it makes the disc look really bad. And there's one more thing that I wanted to do. So I was in the op shop the other day and I found this for a dollar. It was still in the shrink wrap, which I've removed off camera. And I bought it for a dollar thinking that I could use the jewel case because the jewel case is brand new and looks really good. Now, if you want to do this, of course, you'll have to weigh up whether it's worth spending that kind of money you need to think about how much the CD cost to begin with and how much you think you'll be able to get for it. In this case, it's probably worth doing for me. So here we go. And what am I going to do with the Pavarotti CD, you ask? I'm going to trash it and I don't feel guilty about it. Okay, so just being careful when removing the disc tray not to snap the lugs. We don't want that. So you can see this one's really old. It's all scratched up. But the inlay still looks great. And that's the beauty of jewel cases. No matter how scratched up they get, you can always replace them. And the inlay still looks good after all these years. All right, so that's the end result.
Okay guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with any new videos that I upload. What's your experience with scratched CDs, DVDs, game discs, etc? Do you have some discs that require a polish and a clean? What do you do? How do you polish your discs? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, happy collecting, happy selling, and see you in the next video.